Hello everybody, the History Guy here, taking a little divergence to something different. Uh, every so often, rather than playing just strictly strategy, grand strategy games, I like to dive into some of the other areas of historical gaming. And so that's where we find ourselves today. Uh, I actually purchased this game quite a while ago, but I haven't actually played it yet. Uh, it's called Tannenberg, named after uh, a largely unknown, at least in the West, uh, battle from the early part of the First World War. This was a battle fought between the Russian Empire and the German Empire. It was a disaster for Russia, the Battle of Tannenberg. Uh, the Russians lost something like 75% of their 200,000 plus man army in this battle. About half of them were captured. Uh, and it really set the Russians off on a bad foot to start the war. I think it was in late August of 1914. So this is a first person shooter. Now, I don't typically play first person shooters on the computer. When I play them, I usually play them on the console. Uh, but we're going to give this one a try, and I'm diving in completely blind. I've basically looked at the, the controls a little bit. I haven't really looked at the graphic settings or anything. Uh, I'm just basically keeping it on high, which is where it was set to start. Uh, so we're just going to jump right into this and see what happens. So it looks like we've got... Uh, by the way, this is available on Steam. I believe it's still early release. Uh, so let's see. We've got maneuver, capture territory, drain opponents of victory points, and if possible, encircle and cut off enemy positions. We've got a team deathmatch and a rifle deathmatch. Uh, so that's basically a uh, solo deathmatch. So we're going to try maneuver first, do, uh, do that. So it looks like there may not be anybody actually playing. Is that the case? No? I, I guess maybe we just hit play now and we dive into something. Is that how it works? So I'm, I'm going to assume that most of the controls and basically the gameplay is, is like most uh, first-person shooter games. So we're going to see what happens. Looks like I'm the only player. <laughs> One out of 64 players. Okay, interesting. All right, no, there are other players. Good. So it looks like it's a pretty big battlefield. That's cool. That spawn became invalid. I guess we're going to the destroyed forest headquarters. All right, cool. I've got a pistol. There we go. It wasn't letting me move in at first. Move at first. Okay, I've got a pistol. I've got a sword. Am I an officer? I guess I'm an officer. This is probably not a good role for me. I'm feeling like maybe my first game is not the time for me to be an officer in this game. Alright. So let's f figure our way around here. Oh, is this a uh, artillery piece? Can I use that? I guess not. Alright. How do I run? Probably control or shift. Yeah, it's shift. Okay, cool. Let's run up to the forward artillery. Looks like that's where the rest of my squad is. I, I just... Man, I don't feel good about not having a better weapon than a pistol and a sword. Alright, there's the rest of our army. Looks like we're all going for the forward artillery. So I'll stay right behind all these guys with decent weapons. Looks like I'm too tired to run anymore. Oh, here come the bad guys. I'm going to go ahead and get low here. Oh, there's a dead horse. Is that guy an enemy? No, I just couldn't see his name. Okay. Can I fire this artillery piece? It'd be awesome if you could. I guess you can't, though. Let's get low here. Call in support. Okay. Can I do that here? Oh, that's a melee button. Alright, boys. Sorry. Not much action so far here. I don't feel like there's a lot I can do with my pistol. Hello. Let's take a look at the... Uh, okay, there's a ton of people in this battle, so that's cool. Different infantry, or different regiments. So each of the squads kind of has it, uh, its own unit uh, information, which is pretty cool. I like that a lot. Give you a little bit more of an identity than just saying you're in squad A, squad B, etc. I'm going to shoot at some Germans here. Oh, okay. Germans are shooting at me also. 
which I guess makes sense. Man, I need a better weapon. Okay, give me this thing. I very much want to use this machine gun. It won't let me. I can't even tell if these are Germans. Yeah. That was a German. Where am I the Germans? I don't know. Let's look at the uh, information again. Yeah, okay, I am the Germans. Okay, I'm shooting Russians. Ah, reload. Good lord, how long does it take to reload this gun? Alright, they're coming. I'm rather enjoying this. I'll enjoy it more when I have an actual rifle. Alright, so my guys, it looks like, have darker uniforms. So that's the easy way to kind of tell the difference. There's a guy. Jeez, takes forever to reload this stupid thing. What a terrible weapon. I hit somebody. All right, let's get reloaded while we're down here. All right, how do I call in support? I, know, I feel like I'm by myself over here, though. All right, they finally got me. It looks like I got two kills, though, before I died, so that's cool. Let's take a look. Okay, I got two kills and one death. Boy, one of the guys on my squad's got 23 kills and one death. It looks like we're way better than the, than the uh, Russians right now. Can I please have something besides an officer? Or is that just my role the rest of the time now? I guess it is. It's unfortunate. I really would like to try something else. I want to follow this guy. He seems to know what he's doing. Maybe I'll get a chance to use my sword. We're gonna go for this exposed trench over here. Seems like the direction that we're going. Oh, hello, German. Dead German. Oh, yeah! Take that! Can I take his weapon? Oh, please let me do that. Oh, hello. Somebody help me out there. Because I was in bad shape. Let's crouch down in here for just a second while our health goes back up. Please, can I just take somebody's weapon, please? That would be... Okay, the, the body's gone. Okay. Heading to the exposed trench, which we have now neutralized. I feel like I'm going to really enjoy this game. If I could just have one of those rifles, that would be great. Awesome. Okay, and our reinforcements just uh, respond. And we're about to capture the exposed trench. It's ours. Awesome. I don't know what that means, but it sounded angry. All right, where are we headed? Oh yeah, oh, I was about to use my sword on him. Oh, okay, so apparently that was, that was not one of my guys. Alright, looks like we're doing well, though. I mean, we're pushing ahead. 
We've taken most of the territory. I'm going to come over here and, and spawn in the forest dugout. If I can. There we go. Heading to the front lines. I'm pulling a Leroy Jenkins here. I'm just kind of running full speed. We're heading for the forest edge, it looks like. I hear planes. Oh, no, that's one of my guys. Don't shoot him. See, the names don't show up right away, which is really throwing me off. Oh, yeah, I got killed. I was killed by Dmitry Ruzanov. So I feel like I'm looking at these names, and I'm feeling like they're all not real people. Is that the deal here? I mean, cause, or is it just that everybody's got an actual, like, German or Russian name? I feel like maybe I'm the only real person in this game. So that might be the case. That's probably why it made me an officer. I might be just playing this by myself with a bunch of NPCs, which is kind of cool that it gives them all names and that you can still fight a full-size battle. So I like that. I don't like this machine gun, which I feel like is being fired at me. I'm going to dive in here with my sword. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, yeah. Not when that guy's got a rifle. <laughs> okay, that was a that was a poor choice. Jumping in with a sword against a guy with a rifle. Not a, not a smart idea. So let's go ahead and uh, jump out here, and I'm going to see if I can get back in in a game and get a rifle and maybe get into a game with some real people. So it appears there's literally no one playing the game. So um, I don't know if there's that few people who actually have this game or it's just the time of day that I'm playing because I'm playing first thing in the morning here in the States in the U.S. Maybe there's a lot more people that play this later on in the day. So uh, we're going to just I'm just going to let you go ahead and see a little bit of rifle deathmatch. So I guess I'll probably be probably be playing with uh, computer characters once again. But we'll at least give it a try so you can see a little bit more of the game. There's not really much more for me to show you that you haven't already seen. Maybe by making this video, I will get some of you to join in and we can play some uh, Tannenberg together. So now we get to uh, choose a weapon here. Um, uh, Gewehr, uh, 1898, pretty common weapon for the German side. Uh, maybe that's what we'll go with. So this is a rifle death match. You get to choose your rifle uh, and you kind of get to unlock uh, things once you level up. So it's a lot like Call of Duty in that sense. All right, so am I going to... I wonder if I'm going to actually have, like... Okay, I don't have any computer opponents. So basically, I'm running around an empty battlefield by myself. So at least you can see what the game looks like. I, I, I really... I feel like there should be more people playing this because it seems a lot of fun and it seems like something people would be interested in. And uh, so you can kind of see. I mean, the weapons are nice. Nice bold action rifle, 1898. Pretty cool. Just nobody to shoot. That's the only main thing. So, looks like it's a 15 minute death match. I love the battlefields. They look nice. Uh, really, I, I just feel like there should be a lot more people playing this. So, all right, let's go ahead and get out of this. We're gonna go back to uh, go back to the main menu, and there's really not much I can show you that I haven't already, because uh, there's just not much going on at the moment. So, here's my account. I've got 11 career points, so I guess I can go and spend those. I've got 11 minutes of total my play time. Uh, it shows your stats uh, just like Call of Duty. It's just set in World War I, uh, so it's kind of awesome. Uh, you you got your different squads you can be a part of, and it shows you how long you've spent uh, as each one of those squads. You've got medals that you can get. It shows your stats with the different weapons. A uh, lot of achievements to unlock. So come on, guys. Uh, check out this game. Play it with me, and let's organize some matches that we can play together. Um, I wonder if I can get in and, and play a squad game without being an officer. So let's take a look. We're, we're going to go with uh, Central Powers Infantry. I do not want to be the officer. Let me be 
Oh, you get to create your own squad. Okay, this is really actually kind of cool. So you can create your own squad. You can even name it whatever you want. Very, very cool. Like that a lot. Uh, history guys. I don't know. I got nothing. I'll have to come up with some cool hi historical name down the road for this. Moving reserve to reserve with squad. History guys. Squad. Okay, now I can choose my role. Here we go. Yeah. Switch my role. Give me a rifle. Thank you. All right, let's do this. So here's all the progression and the different things. So very, I mean, there's so much depth to this. I can't believe nobody's playing it. But now it looks like it won't let me kind of just dive into a match. Oh, here we go. Very cool. All right. Now I get to have a rifle. Now maybe this will get a little more interesting this time around. We just got to wait for it to load. It loads fairly quickly. I mean, considering I have kind of a moderate strength uh, computer here. Certainly nothing high end, but it still seems to run the game fairly well. All right, here we go. Give me a rifle. Now let's do some damage. Should be a little more interesting this time. I'm waiting for the game to start so I can actually move. Anytime now. There we go. All right. Let's go, boys. It's the human wave running across the largely destroyed uh, history guys squad. Oh, I love. I just love the feel of this. I'm enjoying this a lot. I just wish I had some real people to play with. But in the meantime, you can have a lot of fun playing with a bunch of NPCs, I guess. So it looks like we're going to capture this with no trouble. Hello, sir. How are you? How's it going? Where are the bad guys? Attack here. Okay, there's where we're attacking. So we've got our orders from on high. I feel like I should be seeing some enemy fairly soon. Oh yeah, here they come. They're over here. Oh, dang. I feel like we're kind of surrounded on two sides right now. Oh, this is bad. Is that one? Oh, no, that's one of my guys. Okay. Gotcha. Oh, boy. And I'm dead. All right. I wasn't in exactly the best place there. I was pretty exposed. You know what? Let's go over to this spot over here. Over the forward artillery. We're a little more kind of entrenched. Uh, it seems like it's a much better spot to kind of make a difference from. I'm just, I don't like the idea of firing blind without seeing who I'm firing at, but. I guess we're out of the trenches, huh? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh gosh, this is intense. Man, they do not get, I gotta stop coming out of the trenches, but that's where all my people are. I just feel like I'm just too exposed. So I've got two kills, two deaths. I don't think I can spawn there. I need to go and capture that spot though. How about we just stay here and shoot at people? That looks like a German. Wait, I'm a German. That looks like a Russian. That's what I meant. 
Oh my gosh. Hello. That is a whole bunch of Russians just came up out of that trench. Jeez. I would not last long on a World War I battlefield. Alright, we're gonna go back over here. Looks like the long the more times you die, the longer you have to wait to respawn. Pretty even so far. All right, we're still attacking the uh, forest dugouts. There's a nice little um, crater from an artillery shell. Maybe I'll hide in there. Man, I need a sniper rifle now is what I need. Oh, hey, hello. Gotcha! I killed Vashile Darren. It's cool you actually get to see the names of the people you're killing, even when they're fake people. I gotta stick to cover. I'm le- oh, I'm I gotta stay in my NCO command range, okay. Hey, hello, dead guy. Looks like a dead Russian. Ah! Quit moving. another Russian over there. Alright, what do we got to do to take these forest dugouts? Oh, jeez! <laughs> we, we need to not jump out in front of the guy. Okay, now I'm up to six kills and four deaths, though, so it's a little better. But we're not... Oh, man, in fact, he's pushed the territory back on us. This is not going well right now. I got a lot of men jumping in there though I'm gonna run up over here on this exposed trench and see if maybe we can get get something happening here even though most of my men are attacking over this way oh man how, how did I miss that guy Okay. Now I'm kind of wishing I had that sword. Let's see what other weapons I have. So, you know, if you had a group of guys that were, like, real live players and you could coordinate and kind of talk over voice as you're doing this, I feel like this would be a lot of fun and you could really make, make some things happen. What other weapon do I have? I have no other weapon. Okay. All I got is my rifle. Alright, we got some Russians down here. Stop moving! Hello. Who is shooting at me? Got a second. Let's go ahead and reload here. So a lot of Russians coming from this way, so I'm going to kind of wait and watch for more of them. Oh boy, they're coming for me now. Gotcha. Now I'm having a little more su success. 
I'm just gonna keep waiting for him here. Looks like we're capturing some territory too. Oh, that's one of my guys. Looks like we're going for the trench. Somebody else got him first. Those aren't Russians, are they? Okay, they're, they're my guess. Alright, cool. Take the trench! Wait, where are you guys going? Come this way. We need to capture this territory. I just gotta hope no Russians kind of dive down in here while I'm sitting here by myself. Alright, cool, cool. I think we're starting to turn the tide in this battle. At last. Somebody left their hat. Not seeing any Russians to shoot. Alright, we just about got this territory captured. He's down to his last two territories. Awesome. I captured that one. Now let's go for the forest edge. Oh, it's getting ugly in here. Oh, we gotta defend. I have no idea where the enemy is. Okay, there he is. Bye bye. Oh yeah, I ran into like four of them. That's okay, it's okay, it's going well now. Although we're losing, that's kind of weird. We're, we've got more territory, but I guess we're losing a lot of men. Alright, we'll finish this battle up, and then I think that'll be more than enough video for Tannenberg for you to kind of get a sense of what it's like through my terrible gameplay. Alright, these are all my guys. Looks like we're taking Forest Edge. Man, I need a bayonet in the worst way. Oh boy, oh boy, machine gun. Not cool, not cool. You can't shoot me through the tree. Looks like somebody silenced that machine gun. Whew, I was almost dead. So close. Oh, nice try, you were about to shoot me with that pistol. Oh, I got the machine gunner. Yeah! Oh! But apparently those were Russians, too. That's alright, I'm up to 13 kills, 7 deaths now. Doing a lot better with my rifle. And you, you actually even see, you can see how many kills and deaths each squad has. And uh, how many points they've scored for your side. So that's pretty awesome. A lot of uh, interesting bits to this game. I like that a lot. I feel like, man, this would be such a fun game. It is open beta. So obviously that might have something to do with why there's so few people playing right now. We just gotta take these last couple of, okay, we're winning now, we're doing a lot better. Oh boy. <laughs> I would not last long on a World War One battlefield at all. That was terrible. 
now I'm kind of wishing I had the uh, had the pistol. Oh, we got a recon plane. That's cool. Let's go, boys. So what do we have total? We have, uh, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So 32 on each side. kind of staring right down the middle of his respawn so it's making it a little easier to kill people right now maybe I can buy time for my friends to get in there and take the objective oh yeah I'm up to 18 kills now I feel like I probably got to move here. Oh, we got to reload. 19 kills. Man, I could use a machine gun about now. Twenty-one kills now. Man, we just got to take these last two objectives. How much ammunition? Oh, I got 82 rounds left. Oh boy. They got close that time. That's right, he's down to just a thousand tickets. So once that number hits zero, because we're holding enough of the objective, uh, we're going to finish him off even if we don't take the last couple of objectives. We'll still win pretty handily here. All right, here we go. Oh, hello. Oh, those are my guys. Okay, cool. It takes a minute to kind of figure out the difference. Because the names don't float above them unless you're aiming at them. get reloaded I'm up to 23 kills and nine deaths I'm the only person on my squad that doesn't have at least 15 deaths or in my in my army I should say which I guess makes sense since I'm the only real person playing All right, he's down to just 820 tickets he's not gonna last too much longer even if we don't take these objectives we just got to keep getting kills Nice. That's 26 kills. Finally hitting my groove a little bit here. Oh, we got to reload. Oh, darn it. Man, imagine what I could do with a sniper rifle right now. That's 31 kills. Oh, we gotta reload again. All right, he's down to just 650. We just gotta hold tight. Keep causing casualties now. Man, 35 kills.
get reloaded. Plenty of rounds to last the rest. 560. He's down to 554 now. Oh, look at you going, trying to get around my flank. I'm probably going to die here soon. He's starting to make his way out this way. He's going to get around me pretty soon. Looks like I got hit already. Just didn't get killed. Alright, some of my guys are getting over there. Good. Oh yeah, that's 40 kills. He's down to just 456. Oh, here they come. Where's he at? 388. Awesome. Anyone else is the achievement I just unlocked. That's kind of nice. All right, hold on. Where are we at? 376. We haven't... Oh, he took some territory back. That's why it's going a little slower now. He's on the counterattack. All right, I'm going all Leroy Jenkins here. Oh, man, we got to get some territory back so we can run this number down. Where am I at? 45 kills and 10 deaths. Yeah, he took the forced dugouts back. That's a problem. Not okay. And we got a long respawn ahead of us here. All right, I'm going to go ahead and dive out. I think that's plenty to give you a sense of the game without dragging it on for too long. So please, download Tannenberg. I'll put the link in the description below. I don't even know how much it costs, but I will make sure to put that information in the description. Check it out. This is my first time playing. Now you got a first uh, kind of noob's eye view of Tannenberg. A lot of fun. Really enjoyed it. Would love to play with some of you guys. So, as always, if you want to see more things like this, I'll probably do a little bit of uh, War of Rights next. Uh, a little more low-key first-person shooter compared to this because it's the American Civil War. But uh, that'll be coming up soon. Check out some of my other videos. We'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching, guys.